Lyonnaise cuisine refers to cooking traditions and practices centering on the area around the French city of Lyon and the historical culinary traditions Lyonnais. In the 16th century Catherine de Medici brought cooks from Florence to her court and they prepared dishes from the agricultural products from the regions of France. This was revolutionary, as it combined the fresh, diverse, and indigenous nature of regional produce with the know-how of Florentine cooks. The result was that regional specialities became elevated in status among royalty and nobility. Lyonnaise cuisine became a crossroads of many regional culinary traditions. A surprising variety of ingredients from many nearby places emerged, summer vegetables from farms in Bresse and Charolais, game from the Doms, lake fish from Savoy, spring fruits and vegetables from Drôme and Ardèche, and wines from Beaujolais and the Rhône Valley. In the 19th century, middle-class women, nicknamed the Lyonnaise mothers, left their homes to work as cooks and created brand new culinary traditions incorporating their regional roots. In 1935, the famed food critic Kurnansky did not hesitate to describe the city of Lyon as the world capital of gastronomy. In the 21st century, Lyon's cuisine is defined by simplicity and quality, and is exported to other parts of France and abroad. With more than a thousand eateries, the city of Lyon has one of the highest concentrations of restaurants per capita in France. History <inaudible> <inaudible> Antiquity The history of Lyon cuisine begins in antiquity at Lugdunum, the capital of the Three Gauls monopoly on the wine trade. Oil and brine were imported from Africa and the south of Spain. The wine trade was well documented even before the arrival of Roman settlers in the region. Trade in wine during the 2nd century AD is known to have occurred in the alluvial plain of the Vase. Italian wines from the Tyrrhenian coast were also present. A new population of Roman settlers brought Mediterranean flavors, new products, and new food habits. The wines of Italy gave way to Greek wines, from Rhodes, from C. Nidus, from Coes, and also wine from Chios, reputed to be the most expensive and luxurious wine. During the 1st century AD, wine from further places arrived, like wine from Crete and the Levant. At the end of the 2nd century AD, wines from other parts of Roman Gaul arrived. It was not until the 3rd and 4th centuries that wine from more exotic locations like Tunisia arrived. Septimanus was a well-known cook from Lugdunum, who has been documented in historical texts. He had an inn on the site of the present Rue St. Helena and was renowned for cooking pork and game birds properly. Renaissance During the Renaissance, there was a distinction between so-called «bourgeois» cuisine and the more common cuisine of the lower classes. This «lower-class cuisine» made heavy use of offal, deemed «cheap cuts», as immortalized by writer François Rabelais at the beginning of his novel Gargantua. In the story, Gargamel gave birth to her son Gargantua after eating a great amount of skewered tripe, or grand planté de tripe in French. The first edition of Pantagruel, another novel by Rabelais, published in Lyon in 1532 before Gargantua, is inspired by the adventures of a comedic doctor who is said to be inspired by the Lyonnaise comportment. The book evokes Lyonnaise cuisine, citing a list of dishes. Sausage, sausage, ham, sausages, huge wild boar roasts with garlic sauce, pluck, fricando, fat capons in white mangier, hotchapots, beef stew, kabirotadis, hastero, game animals and birds, stuffed lamb, stuffed carp, white fish, annealed cheese flavored with peach leaves, crackers and macaroons, dry cakes, fruit jellies, fritters, and so on. Erasmus, a Renaissance humanist, hired many chefs from the city of Lyon. It is better at home than when we are at a hotel in Lyon. The Lyonnaise mother comes first to greet you, begging you to be happy and to accept food. The city had specialized in the preparation of certain foods, as evidenced even in place names, Rue de la Fromagerie Cheese Shop Street, Rue Poulailerie Poulterer Street, Rue Mercier Merchant Street. Topic: 18th century to present. It was in the 18th century that ice cream was introduced to Lyon by an Italian, Sprifico. 
The modern culinary reputation of Lyon was truly born with the publication of a poem by Joseph de Berchou, glorifying the local cuisine. He was born in Rouen in 1760, and moved to Lyon in 1770. His work, Gastronomie au l'homme des chans à table, which was translated into several languages, introduced the idea of «eating well» in French culture and dispersed the new word «gastronomy». It precedes the works of Jean Anthelm Brillat Savarin and Alexander Balthazar Laurent Grimaud, which would later perpetuate Berchou's praise of the art of eating well. This «art» would become a specific middle-class characteristic of French society in the 19th century. The poem reads, Want to succeed in the art I profess? Have a good castle in Auvergne or Bresse? Or rather places near Lyon sees passing? Two rivers lovers ready to embrace? Will you get this under favorable sky? Everything that can serve the sweets table, a book by Amable Leroy, La Cuisinière Bourgeoise, published in 1783, invented and immortalized recipes that would make Lyonnaise cuisine famous. In the last years of the 18th century the first modern style restaurants would appear, some of which still exist today. There is Dédouit, located at the top of Rue Romarin, known for its calf's head specialty. It was also during this period that the Lyonnaise mothers would appear. They were master charcutiers, or meat cutters in English. The first to open a shop was Mother Brigus, in 1759. She became famous for preparing and cutting pike. In 1816, the poet Joanny Carmouche, a member of the Epicurean Society of Lyon brought together gourmets with verse. The desserts are eaten. Cutlery line up. Women arrange. At the dock, it happens. A marmot absconds. Without paying the bill. Far from river. The working class. Roast chicken. But each request. What is this band? Bacchus order? They are rascals. Fleeing the river. Who, then, in river? Every month will be. Epicureans, Stendhal, passing through Lyon in 1837, evoked Lyonnaise cuisine. I know one thing that is done very well in Lyon. One eats admirably well there, and in my opinion, better than in Paris. Vegetables especially are divinely prepared. In London, I learned that there are 22 species of potatoes, in Lyon, I saw 22 different ways to prepare them, and at least 12 of these are unknown in Paris. The Lyonnaise mothers become so famous that the gourmet Maurice Edmond Saland, usually known as Kurnansky, who had spent several weeks each winter in Lyon declared in 1934 from the Vitard restaurant that Lyon was the capital of gastronomy. The statement came during the golden era of Lyonnaise cuisine, involving people with feathers and gastronomes and the idea spread and soon became one of the components of the image that Lyon will give their city. Kurnansky reasoned that Lyon's cuisine reflects the values of the local society, including its simplicity, as it appears in the speech of Paul Bacchus. It is this honesty, this taste of the measure, I like to find in an honest and healthy Lyonnaise dish. Bernard Poch, in his book Lyon, as written? Novelists and essayists Lyon 1860-1940, concluded that eating well affected all layers of the population of the city. In the 19th century, the puppet Guignol, the famous weaver, often finds its parts by the prospect of a hoary stew, a good meal, while novels use, or scoff at the legendary delicacy of bourgeois Lyon. <laughs> Terroirs and culinary influences As a result of Lyon's geographical location, many different culinary influences have converged in the city's cuisine, particularly those of the south Provence and, the Mediterranean, and of the north Alsace and Lorraine. Each cuisine imparts its own characteristics, the use of butter and cream from the north and of fresh vegetables and olive oil from the south. In addition, in the 15th century, Lyon served as one of the primary distribution centers for spices imported from the east by Italian merchants. There are a number of terroirs around Lyon whose farmers supply their products to the city. To the north of Lyon lies Charolais, whose cattle breeders provide beef, while the fishermen of the Saone River deliver whitebait. The wine producing region of Beaujolais is also located to the north of Lyon. According to French writer and journalist Lyon Daudet, there are three reasons why Lyon is the capital of French gastronomy. 
The third is that in addition to the Saône and the Rhône, she is served by a third river, the Beaujolais, which never dries up and is never muddy. Located northeast of Lyon, the region of Bresse supplies poultry, the Appellation d'Origine Controlée N, controlled designation of origin of which dates to 1957. Bresse also supplies gods, corn used to make soup de farine John N, corn flour soup. The neighboring region of Bougie provides wine as well as crayfish, which are caught in the Lac de Nantua N, Nantua Lake and are used as the base of the Nantua sauce that often accompanies canals. Frogs, along with several types of fish including carp, tench, roach, pike and zander, are also supplied by the Doms, a glacier-gouged plateau made up of more than 1,000 ponds sometimes referred to as lakes, the majority of which are man-made and were created during the Middle Ages. The regions to the south of Lyon produce fruits, vegetables and wines in the Vallée du Rhône and Rhône Valley. In the Ardèche, a department in south-central France named after the Ardèche River, farmers continue to develop the cultivation of chestnuts, which are a key ingredient in the traditional French Christmas dish, turkey with chestnuts. The Dauphiné region, which is known for its pork products and cheeses such as the saint Felician or the saint Marcelin, is also located to the south of Lyon as are the 48 communes that produce Rigat de Condru a soft French goat cheese with a bloomy rind, that takes its name from the word rigot meaning small stream and the town of Condru, 40 km south of Lyon. To the west of Lyon, the livestock farms of the Monts du Lyonnais, Lyonnais Mountains are the source of the charcuterie and salt meat known as cochinelles lyonnaises as well as variety of other pork products including rosette de Lyon, a cured sausage named for its pink color and made from pork shoulder, and jesus de Lyon, which is a large, coarsely chopped, pure pork sausage studded with large pieces of fat whose plump shape resembles a swaddled baby. These farmers also produce sausage, salami, pig's trotters, ham, filet mignon, terrines, farmhouse pâté and pork rind including fried pork rinds as well as small artisanal cheeses or rigots that are generally made of cow or goat milk. In addition, agricultural producers from this region, primarily market gardeners, are often present at the markets of Lyon. For instance, the French commune of Thurins calls itself the raspberry capital of France. Traditions The Mears The name Mears Lyonnaises N, Mothers of Lyon refers to the female cooks who gave birth to Lyon's current gourmet reputation. Their history was linked to the rise of automobile tourism, as promoted by the Michelin Guide, and the development of the city of Lyon under Mayor Edouard Harriet. In the mid-19th century, these women of modest means, initially the cooks in large middle-class households in Lyon, decided to start their own businesses, serving dishes that mixed homemade and traditional cuisine. Many more women joined their numbers during the Great Depression, when they were let go from the wealthy households that employed them, while starting out serving a client base of working class people, such as journeymen. In this industrial city, the reputation of their meals soon spread to a much wealthier clientele. Celebrities, businessmen, and politicians came to frequent these establishments despite the mixing of the social classes, particularly in the Golden Age of the Mears, during the interwar period. They offered a menu that was simple four or five traditional dishes yet refined enough to guarantee both culinary pleasure and a welcoming ambiance. The first historical mention of a mir dates back to Mir Guy in 1759. Located on the Rhone River in the Maladier region, herself named Ganget an open-air restaurant specialized in matelote d'angiles, a dish of stewed eels in white, red wine sauce. A century later, her granddaughters, referred to as La Jenny an, the genius and Maréchal, became the new face of Mir Guy, bringing back classic recipes, including their grandmother's stewed eels, the dish that made the Mir Guy reputation. This reputation attracted honored guests, including the Empress Eugenie on her annual visit to the thermal waters of neighboring Aix-les-Bains. Around this time, 1830-1850, Mir Brigus ran a restaurant in the Charpens district of Lyon. One of her most popular dishes was Tetons de Venice and Venus's breasts, large breast-shaped canals. Mir Filiou, Françoise Filiou, 1865-1925, was the first Mir whose Reputation was known well beyond the limits of the city and region. 
She established a restaurant on 73 Rue du Cane, known for a simple, unchanging menu featuring her own culinary creations, such as volaille demi doy n, fowl in half morning. The dish takes its name from her technique of cooking, a fattened hen with slivers of truffle inserted between skin and flesh. The alternating black and white appearance of the flesh explains the term half mourning, a period following the all black dress of full mourning, when it was acceptable for widows to alternate black and white or gray clothing. Specialities such as these, turned out with such generosity and devotion to perfection. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 made her famous to gourmets the world over within her lifetime. As early as the 1920s, Mir Bourgeois, Marie Bourgeois was making a name for herself in the region. In 1933, she became one of the first women to receive three stars from the Michelin Guide for her restaurant in Prye, in the Rhône-Alpes department of Aisne. Also in 1933, Mir Brazier, Eugenie Brazier, 1895-1977, the highest achiever. Of all the Mears, was awarded this distinction for both of her restaurants, one on 12 Rue Royale and the other on Col de la Luire in Lyon, giving her a total of six stars. Trained by the renowned Mir Filiou, she was the first woman to receive this many stars for two restaurants simultaneously and rose to become Lyon's most renowned chef of the time. Guests of Mir Brazier included the mayor, Edouard Harriet, and celebrities such as poet, screenwriter Jacques Prevert and singer Edith Piaf. Paul Bacchus, a chef, more famous in Lyon than whoever happens to be mayor, and the longest standing recipient of three Michelin stars over 40 years, apprenticed under Mir Brazier. Bacchus attributes much of his success to those formative years, a sentiment echoed by many of Lyon's great chefs who received similar culinary training under Les Mears, among these chefs is Alain Alexanian L'Alexandrin Restaurant and A Point Café, whose career began with an apprenticeship under Mir Castang, Paulette Castang, a two-time Michelin star recipient for her restaurant L'Ouest in Beau Rivage, in the Condru region. Chef Georges Blanc was similarly influenced by his grandmother Elisa, known as Mir Blanc, whose restaurant in Vannes became the seat of a veritable family dynasty of great chefs. In 1933, she was described as the best cook in the world by Kurnansky, a well-known food critic. Other Mirs include Mir Vitit, who established a restaurant near Lyon's per train station, and Mir Leia, who ran La Voute N, the Vault, in Lyon's place Antonin Guju. Some of her dishes included tablier de saper, literally meaning sapper's apron, a dish of pan-fried tripe, macaroni gratin, and choucroute au champagne, an adaptation of choucroute garni. Sauerkraut cooked and served with meat, usually pork, sausages, and often potatoes, made with champagne instead of Riesling, for which she was awarded a Michelin star. Known as a woman who was quick to share her opinions, often quite loudly, Mir Leia would go to the Saint Antoine Market each morning pushing a large cart with a sign that read, Attention, Fable Femme, Forte en Guel, and Beware. Weak woman, strong voice, still others include Mir Pompom, Mir Charles, La Grande Marcel, Mir Jean, La Malie, Mir Karen, Madame André and Tante Paulette. <laughs> Traditional dishes of Lyon Regional wines are served at the Bouchons of Lyon. The city is also famous for its morning snacks, formerly had by its silk workers. The machins, made up of local charcuterie are usually accompanied by Beaujolais red wine. Traditional local dishes include Rosette Lyonnaise Saucisson de Lyon sausage, Andoulette a sausage of coarsely cut tripe Pistachio sausage Coke au van Gras double tripe cooked with onions Salade Lyonnaise, lettuce with bacon, croutons and a poached egg Marins glaces Cousin de Lyon Carduno Gratin Cervelle de Canut lit, silk workers brains is a cheese spread, dip named for the brain of the silk worker. The dish has a base of fromage blanc, seasoned with chopped herbs, shallots, salt, pepper, olive oil and vinegar. Lyonnaise potatoes Sauce Lyonnaise Sabade Tablier de Saper Quenelle, a mixture of creamed fish, chicken, or meat, sometimes combined with breadcrumbs, with a light egg binding. 
Lyon and Nantua are famous for their canels de brochet pike canels, often served with cream sauce and run under the salamander grill. See also French cuisine European cuisine